Hello, this is Pranay Sai. Our topic for now is direct and indirect speech. For suppose you meet your friend, Mr. Pranay, in the class. Mr. Pranay says to you, I bought a gift for you. You may convey the same words to the third person in the following ways. Direct speech. Mr. Pranay said, I bought a gift for you. Indirect speech. Mr. Pranay said that he had bought a gift for me. Therefore, there are two ways of conveying what a person has said. Let's get started. Direct and indirect speech. Quoting the exact words of the speaker is termed as direct speech. Indirect speech is also known as Reported speech, reporting what a person said without quoting his exact words is known as indirect or reporting speech. Let us solve a few types of questions asked in this topic. Here is the first one. I said to my brother, let us go to some hill station for a change. And here are the set of options given. The first one says that I asked my brother to go to some hill station for a change. And the next one, I asked my brother if he would go to some hill station for a change. Third one, I permitted my brother to go to some hill station for a change. And the last one, I suggested to my brother that we should go to some hill station for a change. In the question, it is clearly stated that he is asking his brother that we should go to some hill station for a change. The first three statements are in such a way that only his brother would go to hill station. But look at the last option. I suggested to my brother that we should go to some hill station for a change. So the right option is option D. Next one. Rajesh said, I bought a car yesterday. Here are the options. Rajesh said that I have bought a car the previous day. Rajesh told that he had bought a car yesterday. Rajesh said that he bought a car the previous day. Rajesh said that he had bought a car the previous day. So among the four options, the one which is grammatically correct is option D. Rajesh said that he had bought a car the previous day. Next one. The manager said, well, what can I do for you? Here are the set of options. The manager asked what he could do for him. The manager wondered what he could do for him. The manager wanted to know what he could do for him. The manager said that he couldn't do anything for him. Please eliminate this one. This is absolutely wrong. Now among these three options, if you observe the question clearly, the manager actually wanted to know what can he do for him. He was not wondered, so option two is wrong. There is a slight confusion between option one and option C. But option C is more relevant. So C is the right answer.